Hi everyone, hello. As, as, as I promised, but I, I, I will say as I post last minute. <laughs> Here it is, the live. So let me have all of these things. Let's see who is going to be here today. I'm gonna wait a couple of seconds to see who is going to be here. Please let me know if you are hearing me well and if everything is good. So let's see. Hi everyone. Today we are going to be talking how to prepare your candle work before the end of the year. Hi. Hola Cookie. And we are going to be going through the zodiac signs to see what is coming for each one of them. Hi Tracy. Uh, what is coming for each one of them. This is going to be something simple but I know that most of the time I do like a video for all the zodiac sign but it's too much work right now and I've been doing a lot of reading so let's do this in this way so I'm gonna be waiting hi Sue for a lot of uh, hi Elsa for a lot of other ones um, to come in so as we know we have full moon this is the last full moon of the year let me just put this a little bit down there you go so we have the last full moon of the year and it is a special one because it's kind of like closing the 2020 we cannot focus in the negative aspects that this 2020 or the situation that we have to go through kind of for force us to be hi joy oh my god miss you too sweetie and means to be here so we need to focus on what we learn, what we get from all of this, and how we are going to put that in a better growing aspect next year. 2021 is coming with a lot of good energy, with a lot of good intentions, uh, a lot of doors, yes. Situations are going to be happening. Hi, you did uh, Are going to be happening, yes. A lot of more energy making us to wake up, to see the truth behind whatever is being told, to kind of focus and follow um, things. Yes. Um, so 2021 is going to make us through situations that, uh, that maybe are out of our control to keep making us see what we need to get better, what we need to work with and how to keep growing so uh you do no joy today i'm not going to to do live readings i'm just doing uh like a little teaching about how to prepare your candle work before the end of the year uh using the full moon and then i'm gonna be going through the zodiac sign to see um what is coming for this zodiac sign hi diane so let's start this full moon of this is not just like the last full moon of the of the moon. It's coming after uh, some kind of alignment with these two planets, Saturn and Jupiter. So this full moon is bringing a lot of good energy, a lot of positive. Yesterday I was kind of watching the moon and I was feeling all of that strong energy about overcoming obstacles. Over like if we're gonna have a moon that is going to be pushing us with a lot of decisions in the collective but as individual like we can use that energy to really make our, the changes inside of us so having that in mind for those that are looking to do a candle work to say goodbye to 2020 tomorrow or tonight depending on what kind of candle you have what you can do because maybe i know that there are some candles that you can buy already prepare or uh, and you can find those things but if you don't have the money for something like that and it's something that you just kind of like doing it in a quick kind of thing high end uh one thing that you can do it is to buy for us the latin people in our countries these kind of candles right the big ones with the crystal base but um for some of you maybe you can find these kind of candles um maybe even in colors and even big ones i really prefer the big ones so you can have them burn for a long time but this is a good one um 
it's still, it's the most important things about this candle work is the intention that you're gonna put there. I don't want resolutions. Resolutions never work because it just wishes. I wish for this to happen. Oh, in 2020, I wish for me. Or maybe you are like, yeah, I'm gonna be, but if you don't put the intention, if you don't put what you are looking for, uh, in a more like 2021, I'm gonna be having a new job. 2021, I'm gonna be buying that house. Say it like you are claiming to the universe. Say it that you know that is going to happen. Because even if for some reason it is not come to fruition, that intention is already set up and believe me, it's coming. The, 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 what you need to make sure that is that the intent, that the reason of that intention is honest and is positive and it's something that is coming from the right set of mind. With this, hi Robin, hi Marie. With this, what I'm saying is like, sometimes we just want to lose weight because we have a lot of insecure or some issues with our body. There is not the right way. If you, by example, you want to say that you wanna be losing weight, you're gonna be saying in a way that I'm losing weight and the reason is because I want to feel more myself because this is something that is going to make me feel more powerful. Maybe it's something that um, you can say it like the reason it is your health even. So make sure if you are looking for a new job, don't say that because I want more money or because I'm tired of this job. Those are not right intentions or right reasons to ask for something. And this is something that is all the time. A reason for you to get a better job is like because I want to grow. I want to keep exploring myself in other opportunities. I want to be able to keep moving forward in my career. See, you need to set right reasons for those intentions be really powerful to then manifest. I want a new home. I want to, in 2021, I want, I'm going to be buying a, a new home because this is the year that I want to be able to have a place that I can call my home. Stuff like that. I think that you have my the idea. So when you have a candle like this, what you're going to do to prepare it, first find maybe some glitter. Uh, you can put herbs, stones. By example, this one, I would say I have even a, a, a purple one. But by example, what you can do is just, I have an amethyst. I have a black onyx. So I want protection. I want my intuition to keep working during all year. What you can do is like just why me while you're kind of like putting it there, like setting up, put start putting your intentions in the candle. You're gonna be like, okay, this is for protection. I'm gonna be protected from any kind of negativity. I'm not going to allow any kind of negativity to get into my bones. I'm free from those kind of energy. The, the, the amethyst that is good for intuition. I'm going to be connected. I'm going to be following my intuition. My intuition grows with me. See? I'm going to be able to listen my guides, my loved ones. I'm going to be looking for more uh, growing in that aspect. After you have your stone setting up, or maybe you put it down, whatever is best for you, what you can do is just kind of like take the candle and feel that the energy of the universe is getting into the candle. What you can do is like just close your eyes, feel that you are grounded, ask for the universe to kind of infuse this candle with all of the positive energy, with the mother uh, earth energy, with your own positive energy. And you just kind of like leave it, do it that way and leave it for maybe two or three minutes. Then what you're gonna do is, if you have rosemary, you want to clean the old and get the, 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 the new one. So you're gonna have rosemary and mint. So you're gonna have clean you're gonna have rosemary to clean and break whatever it is and you have mint that is going to help you to bring new things and protection then you can uh, add roses or it could be essential oils as well but if you have essential oils please make some holes in the candle so it's don't wait you don't get <laughs> like a big thing but if you have the herbs it's way more better so and you can have petals, uh, roses, lavender, um, some flowers, whatever it works for you. What you're going to do when you have those, I have my own uh, for the ones that I sell, um, that this is more specific for certain reasons. What you're going to do after you have that, you're going to kind of like put it like this. See? And voila. If you have, that's how you put, prepare 
your candle and that it is how it's going to be this way but if by any chance do you have the one that is the stick ones you're gonna do the same you're gonna kind of put intention first you're gonna kind of like send the energy you're gonna be putting like the blessing of the universe and stuff like that you're gonna make sure that you have a plate it could be any color preferably white and you're gonna make sure that are going to stay don't light it up that's why i prefer the big ones but basically what you're gonna be doing like you put it in the center of the, the plate then if you have quartz like these ones you just put it like really beautiful like set the design that you feel that you want it right put it there put some coins around put some honey put some um put the herbs like the rosemary mint and whatever flowers put it out there so you're gonna ask for abundance prosperity wealth everything that have to be with positive things so you're gonna put it there and that's the way that you're gonna be asking for your intuition and then you're gonna say that that this is a more a, a more easy to prepare but that's how you're gonna be putting the preparation of your candles for this um for tonight for tonight or today whatever day you want to do it so now let's do the zodiac sign everybody is okay any questions about how to prepare your candle work because i've been getting a lot of ask, uh, questions about that so that's why i decided to do this really quickly so everybody is okay some questions no yeah let's see i'm just kind of like because this is going to be here so there you go no so let's going to start how is going to be i'm going to be pulling some cards i'm going to be high the end i'm going to be pulling this this is from my astrological deck that is going to set up the energy or the planet it could be a planet it could be a house what it is the area that the sign so their sign is going to be more affected during 2021 and then we are going to be choosing three of these decks this is from the oh my god i forget the name let me see if i can find the box because i forget the name of this one um it's one of the new ones that's why i don't okay the quantum oracle this is the name of this day so these are going to help us hi k this is going to help us to see what is the three areas it could be an advice it could be a warning right of what we can expect during 2021 for each sign so let's start with areas how many areas i have in the house today so let's see or but and another thing that a lot of people don't say or don't mention when you are looking into your zodiac sign it's always good to look into your sun sign and your ascendant sign why because the sun sign is the, the sign that you are but most of the time is in a it is in our ascendant sign that we are acting. That's the way that is going to be. So it, it could be a mix of both of them. So how many areas I have in here or how many ascendants I have? Let's see, in areas. So no one, as you know, areas is the leader of the zodiac sign. They always, I love, I, I, I really like areas there. My ascendant is in areas. So let's see what is going or what is coming for areas so let's choose one for areas let's see let's see let's see so for areas is going to be the planet of Lib the the zodiac sign libra that is going to be kind of working with the with, with areas all year long it's more about balance uh, in relationship harmony so a lot of a lot of areas are going to be working a lot in that aspect in their in their in their year in 2021 i would say libra is going to be affecting it's like a, that kind of second zodiac sign in areas that is going to be working during all year long that is going to be helping and kind of having that balance during all year like they are going to be fighting for that balance so let's see what it is the three major things that they need to be looking for so let's see areas 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 i have stock energy i have peace and the last one i have candid partnership definitely for areas this is the year about people and intention they're going to be working with a lot of people they are going to be looking for partnership this could be in a love relationship it could be about business like making 
some kind of new association, new networking. They're going to be working with a lot of finding that balance with peace. They're going to be trying to maintain this drama out of their life. What they need to be careful is about stock energy. Why? Because they tend to be always moving, doing with the mind, doing, 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 and sometimes they don't have the time to clean themselves. They don't really check their energy level. So they need to make sure that the, the areas energy that they always have around is not a stop during all year. Like that could be the, the problem. Every time that uh, uh, energy gets stuck or they're not moving forward or they're not feeling that they're working, that could be a problem. So next one we have Taurus. Taurus. Any Taurus in the house today? So let's see what is going to be for Tauro. Let's see, let's see. And this, 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 this. So Tauro, you have the third house. You potential to learn something on your local neighborhood. For Tauro, it's about communication. That is going to be a really big problem for them. So they're going to be working all year long about how to communicate properly. They're going to be trying to say everything that they feel. That's going to be like a huge thing all year long. They're going to be really working and with the communication and the third house is about family, um, especially with siblings. So they're going to be some things that they need to be working with the siblings, especially during all years. So let's see what is coming for them as the other aspects that they need to be putting attention with. I have, I have, I have, I have fragmented energy. I have the vast universe and I have behind mask. So for them, they are going to be feeling that they have the universe. They're going to be really, really... Taurus is going to have really a lot of connection. Taurus is going to be really connected with the universe, with the Mother Earth, with the loved ones, as a guy. They're going to be really in a good position with their connections. Hello, Deborah, Mari, Deborah, Anne. They're going to be working with fragmented energy. So for them, the, the energy is going to be... They need to be careful that the way that they're communicating and the way that they're trying to to make things happen is not in part. It's not about getting something done in here, done in here, done in here. They need to work with their energy to make a whole energy all day long. And we have behind the mask. This is what they need to be careful of. First, about them. They need to make sure that they're not doing things because they want to, you know, like a behind the mask, behind, like having hiding agenda. They need to be honest about the reason that they're helping, t teaching, whatever it is. They need to stay honest about that, but they need to stay, they need to make sure that the people that they're helping or the people that they're getting to them are going to, uh, hi Karen, don't have hiding agenda as well. So they need to um to make sure or make kind of like put attention to those things okay uh mary i'm not doing live readings today i'm just kind of like going through the zodiac sign to see what they're kind of wait or what, what they can expect during 2021 so we get to gemini how many gemini's i have in my house i'm a gemini so how many how many gemini's i have in the house or ascendants in gemini let's see Hi, Gabriela. So, let's see, let's see. Ah, and we are just in the third sign of the zodiac sign. The twins. So, you are kind of quiet today, girls. So, let's see what is coming for. Have you done Libra? No, I'm, I'm going in order. So, it's coming soon. So, for Gemini, let's see. Ooh. The 12th house. So this is the area of your life that is overwhelming you your greater cause of power. For Gemini people, they're going to be like, you know, kind of like here. <laughs> During all year long, we are going to be connected. We are going to be looking into more like the truth 
about things. We are going to be looking about the truth in situation, people. We are going to be connected. It's the mysterious, it's the esoteric house. It has to be with a lot of things. But we are going to be learning and going with processes even more bigger uh, for a lot of Gemini. So it's about really staying connected, a lot of growing um spirituality so it's going to be like it seems like it's going to be a busy year for us but the 12th house is going to be the one that is going to be active for uh, us and it's going to be a lot of work in there we're going to be working or doing things because we feel that we need to do it for the greatest cause is that if that makes sense so let's see i have angels of the four directions <laughs> gemini's are going to be like crazy this year they're going to be working with uh, planning an action. And they're going to be deserving. So, Gemini, so far it looks like they're going to be really, even though it's going to be a year that is going to be demanding a lot of things in a, like a stay in the course, like focusing the things that they need to be focusing the greater cause. They're going to be working with a lot of, angels higher beings uh, from all of the direction they're going to be working with a lot of more higher cost in that main in that aspect what they need to really work with and it's going to be difficult for us gemini planning an action planning we can act but planning oh my god i can tell you as a gemini it could be so difficult to stay in that curse to use the energy properly because we have to sit down, organize, plan, and follow certain things through. Oh my God, that's the, the most difficult thing. Gemma and I always kind of trying to do things as it is, as it goes, as it happens. They kind of flow all the time. And they need to start uh, working with the deserving. They need to start working with uh, accepting what the universe is bringing to them in a positive kind of way. Even if something not that positive happened, it's not that you deserve those kind of things, but may, the growing, the good aspect of it, the positive side of it, is something that we need to start believing that it's, it's happening for a reason, a higher reason, and we kind of deserve to be better. We kind of deserve the, 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 the good things that are going to start happening to us during 2021. So, now we have cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. My cancers. Let's see what is going on for you. So let's see. I'm kind of like choosing it like how it comes. So for my Gemini, it's going to be the sixth house. The work, the health, and duty area of your life. When I see this, and you can, uh, for my cancers, you can look this later. The sixth house. The sixth house. Even that it's about work, health, and some, like what you feel that is your duty, they're kind of like saying that you're going to, you're going to be working really to find an equilibrium, not balance, equilibrium. You're going to be working really into maybe finding the, the things that you really want to be, what the kind of work you really want to do. You're going to feel, you're going to feel like, you are working, working, working all the time, but you, are, you need to see past that. You need to really focus on what it is that is coming, why you have to work, what is the other aspect of it. You will need to make sure that your health is in check. So you're gonna be propens. I don't know why I see a lot of allergies and something with the chest, okay? So, because you have the sixth house really active during all year. For you, my cancers, you have happy success, and it's kind of like with the sixth house, right? Letting go. And for you, it's like, I don't know why, optimism. So my cancer, so where are you going? My cancer, one of the things that you need to work and you're going to be working during all years about letting go, about accepting, and finally be free of your own fears. Be free of your, whatever it is, holding your down. That's what you're going to be working in 2021. So every time that you feel frustrated, every time that you go crazy, remember, maybe it's about letting go. Maybe it's about um, allowing things to happen. Okay, key uh, uh, positive for COVID, but I want you to stay 
focus, okay? The energy is going to be really, really important for you. Just don't be afraid. You know that you have it. It is kind of like, like you say, killing you. But you're gonna, you, what you're going to do is just focus on health. Focus that you are healthy. Try to help your, your, try to heal yourself, okay? And I know that you're going to be fine. I know that you're going to be really, really fine. I know that, okay, okay? So, happy success. That means that you, everything, everything that you put in your mind to make it happen is going to have a happy success. Remember that success or successful things have not be, don't have to be with you. Uh, you just go to my website, Daniel. You can go to www.malwayspiritualplace.com. That's the place that you can book. So, the way that you're going to be doing it is just remember that success or successful things are not necessarily in the way that you want it. It could be in any other aspect. The important thing is like it's a success. We need to learn how to accept those things. Sometimes because it's something good that is happening, but it's not in the way that we want it. We kind of like make it down. Like, oh my God, oh yeah, I get promoted, but it's not the promotion that I was looking for. You got promoted. You get that raise. You get a new relationship. Whatever it is, don't put it down just because it's not in the way that you were looking for. Okay, and maintain your optimism. Ca and cancer, this is a big problem. Cancer have a problem that every time that something happens to them, they get a little bit down. They get a little bit like, oh my God, this is happening. Like That's the emotional part of cancer, right? For them to stay optimi optimism, it is really a big challenge. And 2021 is going to challenge them even bigger. So one of the things that, Cancer have to really be looking for is to always see the best part of it. Things are always two sides. I'm always going to be black and white. Even the good things have a downside. Maybe not for you, but maybe for others. So we always need to focus in the one, the part that have the light, the one that have the, the the good things. To stay positive, positive and be optimism. Don't. It's not about being here, living in the. In the in the clouds oh yeah everything no being positive and optimism is always have faith or always looking into the bright side of it but always knowing that the energy the universe of ourselves have the power or maybe we can interfere in the same way that we can make it happen we can interfere with ourselves so we always need to choose it's all choosing to choose to stay optimistic and see the bright side of things. Okay, see this? So now I'm going with my Leo. Let's see, Leo. My Leo people. <sighs> they can be so much. So let's see, Leo, Leo. What is coming for you? Leo, for you is Pluto. <gasps> Pluto is the planet. For you, it's a planet that is going to be working with you and it's going to be kind of making you like, um, I would say it's, a, it's the aspect. It's not a house. It's not something that is completely all the time. With Pluto, because it's a planet, it's something that comes back, goes back and forward and it could be in specific moments and in specific times during the year. So with Pluto, it's about your transform ability is going to be about how well you can go and make things happen how much you trust in yourself so for leo that that always kind of like you know they can be so confident they can be always looking for things and kind of feeling that they have everything leo have a great personality but sometimes they can be really really confident and they can be i would say acting too much or acting too spontaneously so but when leo don't when leo when things don't happen for leo they can get so frustrated or they can get so down so for them it's always how they're going to recover so pluto is going to be working with each one of you trying to see how well how fast how much you can really revert, well, how you can transform all of these years, all of these things that ha happened in the past, maybe in the two, I said, like three years ago, two years ago, 
It's time for you to use that and transform it, to revert from that. This is the year and that's going to be all year long for you. Like every month is going to be a teaching for you to grow, for, for, for you to transform, to transform a, a way of feeling, a, to transform a way of being, to transform a way of perceiving things. So it's always going to be something during all year that is going to be challenging you about being rebirthed or being transformed in some kind of way. So for you, we have great, great achievements. With you, we have, okay, I have some cards repeating, like, and I know that this is not the one that I want for them. Yes. So definitely a lot of present power. A millstone. So for you, with this, they want you to live in the present, not in the past or in the future. They want you with the present power just to reclaim the power that you have to transform and live in the present. Sometimes the Leo have the problem that they live or in the past or in the future. Sometimes for them to live kind of in the moment or stay kind of neutral is a little bit difficult for them. So one of the things that 2021 is going to show you and teach you as well is about living in the present, how to create and use the power that you have in the present. You're going to have great achievements. You're going to be able to... I will say that something something is coming from for Leo during 2021 about creating something. It could be a new job, a home, a, a more networking, whatever it is, is going to be really good for great achievements. Not necessarily about establishing something, it's just like you're gonna feel every little thing that is a great achievement and you need to celebrate those. And a millstone. You're gonna be asking, the 2021 is going to be asking from you to always give a little bit more. Okay, you are good at this. You are kind of manipulating. You are kind of like doing this so perfectly. Let's go beyond that. Let's go to the millstone. Let's go and do more because some kind of recognition is waiting for you. People are going to see the growth, are going to see everything that you're making happening or everything that you're kind of like making bigger. Okay, sweeties. So, after Leo, we have Virgo, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Virgo is the next one. So let's see, Virgo, what is coming for you. My Virgos, I will. I always say that the Virgos are the stubborn. They, when they know something or when they want something, it's so difficult to make them change uh, the way that they see. They can be so... Uh, I love them. My grandmother was a Virgo, but they, were, they are difficult sometimes. So, I want to kill them sometimes, right? But let's see for Virgo. What you have for you, you have the seven house. That is about long, significant partners, romantic family, business and family. With the seven house, what I see is like Virgo for you is about maybe be more in equilibrium. Maybe try to analyze or try to see you're gonna be analyzing all year long the people that you have the kind of work that you're doing you're gonna analyze your life you want to make changes in your life so during 2021 ah thank you mary uh no i uh, i'm kind of completely booked to tomorrow bra friday i don't work daniel and I, I'm full on Saturday and I'm full on, on Monday. So I think that the next day that I have available is Tuesday the 5th, I think it is. Yes, the next day that I have available is going to be Tuesday this, the, the 5th. So for you, my Virgo people, you're going to need to really... Oh, happy new year for you too. You're going to be really working, analyzing your life, trying to see what kind of thing you want to change. So for you, it's like your seven house about your life, your, your long-term relationship, business, and any kind of aspect. Just learn. Just um, your, any kind of long-term relationship, co-workers, family, love, partnership, whoever, right? You're going to be analyzing them, seeing who is who, maybe changing some kind of things. So you're going to be really, really into 
changing the way that you perceive you're gonna be cutting ties with certain people no matter who they are and you're gonna be adding more people that are going to become more long-term relationship and Robin you can just go to the website in the web uh, we I have days open in, in January it's just that right now during the last days of this year I'm completely booked most of the time that's how I get book full like I always get one or two weeks ahead of time so um I know that I don't have more space available no matter what I can try to do and 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 stuff like that but I after Tuesday I have abilities during next week so for those that want to book go just go there and and just book it through there before it's uh, before I get I keep getting full so let's see for my beer goals, what I have in here, professional assistant. See, and you're gonna be working. The, uh, Daniel, today is going because I'm finished this and then I'm going to be um, with other private readings. So I'm so sorry for that. I, I sorry. People in here knows that I always try to work with my people, but if I can, I can. So for you, Virgo, professional assistant, fear and friends and college. See, all of the car. Oh, I'm gonna post the link when I finish. So this is the, the three cards and it's funny because it's exactly what you are going to be going through all year. So with this card, it's just magnifying or making gr more bigger um, what is coming. So for you professional assistants, so you're gonna have people that is going to help you to keep growing professionally. You're going to have people that is going to really working with you hand by hand, teaching you like just professional assistant. It, it could be even studies. You're going to be having friends and colleagues. Uh, like I told you, your work is seem like it's going to be the most impacted area about those long-term relationships. Even your relationship with your work. Maybe it's time for you to change and do something different. So, <laughs> thank you, Tamara. So, that's the way that they want for you to focus. Virgo for you, your work area, even that you're going to be looking into all the other long-term relationship, it is your work area, the biggest one. And fear. This is going to be your biggest obstacle that you need to overcome during all year long. Fear. Don't allow fear to stop you. It's okay to feel fear. It's part of our journey. Don't be afraid of that. Don't be like, oh my God, I'm afraid of this. Or maybe like, I'm not going to feel afraid of something. No, 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 no. You need to feel afraid. It is an energy. That's the gasoline that makes us be better. It's when we get stuck in it, when we don't, when we allow that energy to overcome and rule us. It's like everything in, ex in excess is not good. Even love. When you always give, give, and love, 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 it's not good because then you don't have balance or equilibrium in your life. So fear for you is the biggest thing we got to overcome during all year long. Okay. Now we have... If I'm not mistaken, Libra, right? Virgo, Libra. Yeah, we have Libra in here. So let's see what is what is coming from my Libra people. Let's see. Mars. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, my beautiful Libras. And that means that my moon that is in Libra is going to be affected too. Remember that this is just in the big scale, but even in the aspect that you have these planets are going to be affected as well. So for you, it's Mars, physical energy drive, strength, and fighting spirit. So for my Libras that are always kind of indecisive and always trying to be like neutral people, this year, you're going to be forced to act. This year, you're going to be forced to do things. This year, you're going to be forced to... Um... <laughs> yeah, they're, they're lovely. They are the most caring people. But, oh my God, they're so difficult to work with. But, um, but Libras, for you, 
This is the year that you want to do things. You're going to feel attacked sometimes. So you need to be careful about how you're going to be reacting to not take personal uh, things personal, you know, or in a personal kind of way. They're saying that during this year, Mars are going to be really working with you, making you move, making you even do exercises. You're going to feel that you want to kind of rule the world, if you want to put it that way. So that's the way that you want to be working with. So for you, Libra, there is more like an energy about how you're going to be fighting or how you're going to be making things. You're going to be even a little bit, of, you need to make sure and be careful about your mad or be mad and stuff like that. Okay, sweetie. So Libra, 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 let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's see let's see intuition and manifestation you're gonna have again another letting go and a teacher libra for you letting go i don't remember what sign it was the one that have the letting go card but it's about letting go cutting ties and with that energy of Mars, you're not going to hesitate. This year, you're going to be so willing to let go, so willing. But make sure that you are not acting too fast. Mars tend to be too sporadically, tend to just, I'm mad. I'm going to stop talking to you. So you have to be careful. It is okay to let go, but you need to first think that who is the right people, who is the right situation to let go. You're going to be using a lot of intuition and manifestation. So this year, my Libra, with that energy of Mars, you're going to be thinking, you're going to be putting intention, you're going to be, boom, manifesting. You're going to be really, really having like a good luck all year long. And teacher, you're going to be a teacher. So you have to be careful. You will need to make sure that you are teaching the right things. Even that you don't know that you are teaching, just make sure that, you are acting in the right way. And even not just that, you're going to be receiving people that are going to be teaching you. You're going to have a lot of mentors and teachers in different aspects, in different areas. And it's not because you are paying them. It's just like they're going to be working with you. Hey, I love what you're doing. Or maybe we are working together. I want to create something with you. You're going to have a lot of teachers as well uh, in different aspects, not necessarily like with the title of a teacher or a mentor, but this this is what they're going to be in different aspects in your life. Okay, my Libras? Then we have a Scorpio. We are getting close. I think that I'm being having, I'm trying to say them by memory. So I have a Scorpio. See Scorpio what I have for you. Hi hey, Scorpio. For you is the third house. You're gonna be I have another so they sign that is going to be working with the third house about communication. And for a Scorpio that could be a huge thing because they love to help people. They are the psychic sign of the zodiac sign, right? But for them, sometimes the way that they can communicate, it could be so difficult. Because they are not good around people. They love to be helping, but they don't like drama. And they sometimes they can be so blunt. And so them, you know. Uh, they, even that they want to help and people love them, they stay kind of behind curtains. They Scorpio people can be a little bit too much sometimes. They I always say that they people say that they are the antisocial. I just say like they are the anti drama sign. So let's see. They really don't like drama. They really don't. Dark thoughts. For you oh my god, I kinda of like this travel decrease so for you my scorpio people i think that we are almost at the end one of the things that you're gonna be able to do um anybody you're a nine but you know that 
you love to help people, but you cannot deal with the drama. That's one of the, that's why it's Scorpio. I love, my mom was a Scorpio. Everybody loved her, but oh my God. When it's about drama, she was really blonde and she can say things really so strong. So a Scorpio. But I have a lot of Scorpio here. That's good. So you're going to be able to travel. Do something about traveling, even with the COVID and all of these things. You're going to be able to travel. You're going to be able to plan some traveling. Not necessarily just for 2021, even for the, for the future. But it is about you traveling, making not just travel in a big way, even travel in your own country, in your own state. And for some reason, I'm receiving astral traveling you're gonna be able if you put yourself into it as a psychic sign that is is kind of normal for you some kind of astral astral traveling is going to be with you not astral projection not astral whatever astral traveling okay so what you're gonna be working you're gonna have work you're gonna be working with two things you're gonna be working with your your energy making sure that your emotions are not decreasing your energy you're going to be working really really strong with your emotions how to use them to make you stronger and not make you weak if that makes sense um how to use your emotions to increase your energy not decrease it even that emotions are so strong and most of the time is what is put us down and not helping us when we want to connect with our loved ones, guides, etc. The thing is like when we use our emotions, even in those moments of sadness, we can increase our energy and make the connections. It's just, you just need to know how to use it. So you're going to be, my Scorpios are going to be working with that and the dark thoughts. And for Scorpio, the dark thoughts are one of the most, because when they think dark, they think dark. When they have bad thoughts, it could be bad thoughts. And sometimes they can confuse those dark thoughts with some kind of visions or intuitions. So they can get mixed. So you have to, that's another thing that you will need. You're gonna be working to master, to control during all 2021. Okay, my Scorpio. So, Next one is Sagittarius, right? Scorpio, Sag. I say Aries, Tauro, I have to go back, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. Now we're going to Sag. Uh, let's see, Sag, what we have for you, my Sagittarius people. See? Sometimes even me, I can forget things. But it's like it's so many things and I'm keep checking into this. So Sagittarius, what is coming for you? Me, oh, okay, you have that energy of Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, I would say that I love them, but they, Sagittarius have this tendency of, sometimes they get really hurt when people don't put them in their, in a pedestal or something like that. Like, they need to feel that their work is valued. So Terry, hi. So let's see Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Pisces. Sagittarius, you're gonna be, well, it's going to be an emotional year for you for sure. So this is the energy, is wistful and loving, compassion, forgiving, confidence, something. <laughs> this is kind of so funny. But Pisces is for you. So, the energy that is going to be surrounding you, my Sagittarius, is going to be Pisces, the spiritual sign, so the sign. And Pisces, I would say, like, it could be a little bit difficult because Pisces want to have both sides, the spiritual side and the financial side. I've never met a Pisces that they are not thinking or looking into having some kind of stability, but they are always looking for the truth in a spiritual kind of sense. So they are always conflicting with each other. But Sagittarius, for you, when I see Pisces around your energy, what is going to be for you during all year, it is about how you're going to be... I feel that it's kind of like a change in the way that you love. I would say like you love, Sagittarius love, so deep, so strong, 
But the problem with Sagittarius is like sometimes they can look that they're a little bit selfish or self-centered because in the way that they're showing that love is not always in the best way possible. I, I, they can be so rough. They can be like, boom, 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 boom. You know, they are loving you. They're kind of trying to help you, but maybe the way that they're doing is too passionate, too much. So Pisces is coming to kind of soft that area. It's kind of showing another way for you to show that love To Don't get frustrated when people don't say, give you the same kind of love in the same kind of way. To be more receptive about certain things. And especially, you're going to be looking for more spiritual aspects or more spiritual ways to see life. You're going to be really looking into a more spiritual aspect, not just about abilities, connections. It's more like looking for some more understanding about certain things. That's the way that I see Pisces in your uh, with you, uh, Sash. So let's see what is coming for you. Family, conflict, hidden motivations. So my Sash for you, 2021, is going to be a, 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 a little bit of a pushing. Now I'm not going to lie to you, but in a good way. Stay, let's let's see so maybe you have been working for a long time with some hidden motivations maybe you have been trying to give or work with people or maybe do certain things and even that you are doing because you care you've been having some hiding motivations in the meaning and not necessarily bad it's just like in the way that you've been doing it is because I love I'm gonna be doing this just because I love him and I need to do it because I'm the uncle, the mom, the father, the mom, whatever. See, it's that higher motivation that we are still doing it, but maybe we feel obligated to do it. Maybe we are feeling that it's our obligation to do it. So those higher motivations are the ones that you need to work with. Try to see um, for Sash sometimes to be open, to really say what they want to say it is difficult because they feel that maybe people don't get them or don't understand them. Sash have a, a, a very strong way of communication. So the, the, the way that you're going to be working with the hiding motivation is about speaking your truth. Always speak your truth. And when people get to you and out of nowhere, they're so nice or they're changing heart, changing mind, make sure that it's not a hiding motivation behind that. It's not that you don't trust. It's not that you think about the bad things no i don't want you to think that way i want you to know that sometimes people can have had a motivation and it's up to us to make sure that we are clear because sometimes they can be clear with us sometimes don't so it's up to us okay conflict so you're gonna have with this card i feel that you're gonna have a conflict of something by example, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel that for my Sagittarius people, they're going to be conflicted about something during all year, or maybe in some aspect. I would say not all year. I would say like during sometimes during the year, they're going to be feeling conflicted about this is what I want, but this is what they want me to do. You're going to be pulled in different areas. Uh, I want to have a vacation, but now they're telling me that I have to work, 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 work. I want to, so those kind of conflicted things, opposite things are going to be happening for you. They, they, this is happening because they want you to finally put yourself first. Sagittarius, as I said, they tend to look like they're self-centered or a little bit uh, selfish. They sometimes can be blunt. That the way that they're expressing their love, sometimes or most of the time, people don't don't pass that. They don't see what is happening. So they don't see that the sometimes it's difficult for them to not be them. Or I would say it's difficult for them just to be them, I would say. So for you, you're going to feel a lot of conflicted emotions, a lot of conflicted actions. The best way for you to overcome those is about you. Pull yourself 
first. You need to do things with the where you don't feel that you hide your motivation or hide the reasons. See? So this is how it's going to be working for you, my Sag. And family is going to be a really important aspect of it. You're going to be really close to your family. And even someone or new members are coming for you. Not necessarily through you, maybe from another members of, of the family, but some kind, something about stay connected with family is going to be really, really important for you. So now I have my Capricorn people. Let's see Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. <sighs> Let's see my Capricorn. I have a lot of Capricorns in my life. It's, I have a Tauru, I have a Capricorn, I have a Cancer, and I have an Aquarius. <laughs> I have another Gemini, I have a Leo, and I have another Tauru. This is for me. But let's see my Capricorn. <laughs> Capricorn with a Virgo energy. So you're gonna be double grounding for you. So energy around you is the full hesitant humble without discriminatory impact itself. So my Capricorn. All 2021, you're gonna be looking for a place of home, for a place of grounding. All 2021 for you is about making things in your way so my capricorn sometimes you can be the know it all of the signs right you need to listen you need to stop being so logical get out of your mind capricorn they always so logical so everything i have like thinking 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 they are they overthink too they are so amazing quick when they are in the in the in their maxim maximum a splendid time they can be so fixed uh, quicker like fix quicker like quicker fixers there you go quicker fixers um but during 2021 you need to get out of your head get out of your doubts get out of your uh, uh like overthinking you need to work in that and especially because you're gonna have virgo and virgo is the planning virgo is about doing this and that virgo is about making things happen and kind of like being stubborn so having two earth signs with you that means that you need to be more careful. You need to kind of like don't let your mind really get in the middle. And especially because you're going to be looking for a home. Uh, 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 you're going to be looking for a place that you feel that you belong. You're going to be looking all year long about creating that harmony in life. Really, really strong. But maybe you're going to be really more... Um, really, I will say like you need to be careful that you are not being too pushing and let things flow let it put it that way so capricorn moon so that's how you feel that's how you moon is how you feel how you react your emotions react so you react like a capricorn oh my god so for you it's really important that you feel that you are listening that you are loved and aquarius ascending you can be crazy aquarius people i love aquarius so but let's see capricorn what else is coming for you i have new supportive connections another letting go and this time is increase so the difference about the decreased car this increase is about having good things happening that like you're gonna be increasing things in your life like adding value with you you're gonna have the energy you're gonna have the support and everything um but for you it's going to be about about you're gonna you're gonna be all the time working with that high energy levels and stuff like that again you have to another sign that have to let go you need to learn how to cut and with capricorn Oh my God, that's one of the most difficult things to do. Capricorn, how the, the, one of the things that they need to work always is like, first is their mind. They have a beautiful mind, so quick, so intelligent, so smart. But at the same time, they're always thinking, 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 thinking. And letting go, they get so attached to things and emotions, especially emotions. Capricorn can be so attached to things. So... This year is about learning how to cut, how to 
let go of the past, especially about the past and people. So 2021 is going to be a struggle for you in that, but you're going to have new supportive connection. That means that new people is going to be helping you in all of this process. You need to be open. You need to be open to receive those new connections. Capricorn don't like a lot of change. Any of my earth signs, they are not huge fans of changing. So, uh, especially Capricorn. They like things in a certain kind of way. And and so you will need to allow yourself to be open to this new supported connection because they're going to be an important key, especially with your letting go situation and increasing, making that perfect of feeling home finally okay so hi uh, hello well i just i did leo already i'm almost like i'm two more signs and uh, we are going to be done so uh you can watch it later better so now we are going to my crazy people the aquarius people i always say like that they're weird so they're weird in the zodiac sign they are so unique in a good way i say it with a good way because they're so unique so so in in the, in what they are, they don't they don't follow most of the time what society have in store. They are that make it difficult because they are not feel accepted accepted in in the in the out there. But Aquarius people that just so unique, so different. That is amazing. My Aquarius people, they are really really good. Okay, Judy, that's good. So, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I don't know how you can manage so many Aquarius. I'm good and you have better. I'm really good. So, how are you, sweetie? So, for my Aquarius people, Mercury. Mercury is going to be uh, the energy that is going to be working for you. Help think, communicate, write, talk, and travel. But for my Aquarius people, when I see that I'm being an air sign, I'm having Mercury, that is my real planet as a Gemini, um, that means that Aquarius, you're going to be working how you're going to be communicating. Not about communicating, how you're going to be communicating. I have a, I think that I have a lot. The one that have the third house, they're going to be working in communication, in communicating more. But having Mercury as the energy is about how you are going to be communicating things. Aquarius have, they can be shy, they can be expressive, depending on how they feel or the people that is around. So for them to express things are not always easy because they don't know how to do it. They can say the wrong thing or people can, in the way that they're saying it, people can take it wrong. So they need to work in how they're going to be communicating during 2021. So a lot of things are going to be pushing you in learn how to communicate, in how to express yourself more, where you feel comfortable enough and not losing your uniqueness, but at the same time, maybe be more easy of people talking to. And not just that, I would say like 2021, maybe you're going to find out that you're really a good writer. Maybe you're going to feel that you want to uh, talk more with people. Remember that communicating is not the same as talking. We can be talk and not communicating. I'm communicating and not talking. Sometimes we can communicate in other ways. But, so, just check. I think that you're going to be really more creative. You just need to start putting more attention to those things during 2021, okay? So let's see what else is coming. Let's see, let's see. For my Aquarius people, the loving man, a conscious of lack, playing it safe. So, big changes are coming from my Aquarius. So we are, you, you know, you are an air sign. So those are kind of things are the things that you like. That's what you are looking for. That challenge, that, that something that make you feel your mind like learning or growing. You're, you, you're an air sign. That's how it is. So, loving man. So, for those that are single, it seems like loving man. Something about relationship. 
something about maybe walking the path if you have a, 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 a boyfriend already. But definitely something about feeling loved, feeling that the, the right person is around you. It's coming during 2021. A conscious of lack. This, when I see this card for you, my Aquarius people, it is more like you need to make sure that you don't get during all year like lacking things, not necessarily consciousness. I would say like it could be that there are going to be moments that you're going to be down. When my Aquarius people get down, oh my God, they can't get down. They get so depressed. Emotions are really one of the things that they need to work a lot. So maybe you're going to be going through some things during the year during the year that are going to make you feel like, ah, I don't care anymore. Or you're going to be putting down. So you have to be careful about those things. The best way is going to be ground yourself, ground yourself, ground yourself. I understand that love is not coming from others. It's coming from you. Okay, sweetie. So I would say like, I, again, I don't think that it's a consciousness of lack. Or um, it's more like you're going to be lacking certain things sometimes. That like you feel emptiness sometimes. And not just that. If you are aware of those moments, then your consciousness is going to be like, poof. Stay aware of those moments so you can be able to transform them. And again, remember, it's about how you think, how you communicate. So when those moments of lacking happen, see how you're thinking, be aware of how you're thinking, and change it. Okay? That's important. And playing it safe. And it's time that you take some risk. I feel that maybe last year or this year, I would say 2020, you take, you play it safe. So they want for you to, it's okay that we kind of like go small steps and kind of like, okay, let me see, let me check. Kind of like take it slow or safe. It's okay, but don't get too comfortable. Don't get, don't get so in your comfort zone that then you are not pushing yourself to keep growing. And that's something that Aquarius people tend to do because they're so it's so difficult for them to, people kind of like get attachment to people, or kind of like get fun with people. They are so into their own world. They have their own world going on. Sometimes it is difficult for them to get out of that comfort zone or like playing safe because this is what I know. This is how, how good I am and take the risk. So they're saying like, it is okay you do it. It is okay that sometimes you stay in your comfort zone and play it safe. But 2021 is going to start pushing the limits and start kind of like making you take risk. Okay, sweetie? So, now the last one is going to be Pisces. Finally, Pisces in the house. So, let's see for my Pisces what is coming. Okay, Pisces is if being a, a if being a, a spiritual sign is not enough, you're gonna be working with the ninth house. The ninth house is about your horizon, either spirituality, spiritually, academically, or a long journey. So, my Pisces, you're gonna be working a lot with your spiritual aspect, but this time it's about learning. Uh, I would say like expanding those horizons, expanding already what you're going. Something is going to be happening to you during 2021 that you're going to be expanding, broadening, broadening <laughs> those uh, aspects that you have. So Pisces for you is going to be really, really important that you stay check with your own abilities, with your own... Um, I know, Milton, <laughs> I know. So and I, that's why I, I was kind of laughing as well. But something is going to change that is going to be broaden, broadening those aspects. It's going to be really pushing you. Those are, Some are not going to be good. Some or well, it, It's everything good. They're going to be a little bit difficult because sometimes they can push these higher beings and all of this they can push. But for all of my Pisces people, just be prepared. The ninth house is going, the ninth house is going to be really really busy that means that even you're gonna be challenged to believe certain things you're gonna be challenged like oh my god all of my life i've been believing in this and now this is kind of new this is coming you're gonna be challenged 
to change. Yes, Barbara, to change the way that you see. But it's not as, I think that I have another sign that has to be with changing or growing uh, about transforming. This is not about transformation. It's about expanding. It's about making it bigger and, and kind of expanding your horizon, how you see things now. And for some are going to be about another step in the spiritual process as well. So for all of my Pisces, it's going to be everything about your spiritual work. I feel, yes, for some it's going to be maybe academically, but I don't see that as strong as I see the spiritual aspect of it. And something about thinking about your long journey. For some it's maybe more shorter than other ones, but definitely you're going to be thinking about, this has been too long. Can I just change things? Things like that, okay? So, let's see what is coming, what other areas. <laughs> planning and action. Yeah, we are planning and acting a lot. The loving woman. <laughs> and the new beginnings. I love my Pisces. It's a good way for you at the end. So Pisces is going to be good. So Pisces, the loving woman. <laughs> so Pisces, if you're in a relationship, you're single, you are yeah, whatever it is, Finally, some kind of change are going to, uh, for those that have a, uh, that male, that have a woman or whatever it is, this is a partner. So if you are a male and you have a woman partnership or a male partnership, this is about, I don't know why Pisces with you is not about a, a, a woman. I feel that this is about the partner relationship. So if you are in a, in a relationship already, be prepared. Some kind of changes are coming. Some more understanding is coming from that person in your in your life i see that more nurturing is coming in that aspect as well and i feel that maybe something about a person that is important in your life because it's the loving woman so it's, it's someone that it, it, maybe they kind of a uh, platonic love or something like that um and it's like pisces for you something about the person that you long the most or you have been one thing, some kind of way, maybe something is going to be happening with that person. It's more like be prepared because things about the way that you are having a relationship in, uh, with someone that is special for you, Pisces, is going to be changing for the best. Then you have plans, planning and action. So as Gemini, you're going to be planning and acting too. A lot of work is going to be there. For my Pisces, I would say like the planning is not the problem, it's the action. Because they have so many interests. Pisces have, they want to do the right thing, but at the same time, as I said, Pisces have the problem that they want the stability or the material things. Not that they are materialistic, it's just like they want the material things because they want to live a good life. If I'm giving so much spirituality, if I'm giving so much, I'm being the right person, I'm doing what is right, as much as I can, why I cannot have a nice way of living, right? So that's the big problem that my Pisces always have. So this year, for you, I feel that it's more about the action to maybe, because I feel that Pisces always have a lot of situation with people around, and maybe with the loving woman, I don't know, but they will have to act more and less planning. Gemini need to more planning and more studying and less action they, because they can be like this. But with my Pisces, Pisces, they can plan. They can. They they don't have a they don't have a problem with the planning. It's like sometimes they cannot act as they want because they can act really faster. It's just like they cannot do it because people around them. So this time, this twenty twenty one is kind of challenge you that aspect as well like hey you know what if people is not following you you need to stop you need to like be you and stuff like that and new beginnings for a lot of my Pisces a lot of new beginnings in you mm, different aspect I like it because it seems like a new life new beginning new places are coming for you so Pisces if all of the hard work that you've been doing during the last couple of years finally is going to start giving you some kind of rewards because of those new beginnings. I'm not, it's not like you're going to get them or you're going to get exactly what you're looking for, but you're going to have the door to start having a new beginning. 
And let's put it that way. You're gonna have what is needed to finally enjoy some of the things that you've been working so hard. So this is it. I finally fi uh, finished my 12 zodiac sign for what is coming for the 2021. I hope that you like what I show at the beginning about the candle work, how to prepare your own candle so you can be prepared for saying goodbye to 2020. And if I don't see you tomorrow or before the end of the year, Happy New Year to each one of you. I love each one of you. Thank you for being here. See you next time. Bye-bye.